I'm Stuart Thompson, editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Christian Harris, who's head of digital entertainment at Three. Three, obviously, a, a UK mobile provider. How are you positioning yourself in relation to entertainment services and video entertainment in particular? Yeah, so we have a range of content services that we offer alongside and with mobile tariffs. Uh, we were the first to launch an unlimited offer around key brands like Deezer, Spotify and Netflix, which is called GoBinge, encouraging customers to consume as much as they want of the services which they enjoy. Now, from a mobile perspective, one of the big topics at the moment is 5G. What impact do you think 5G will have on video distribution in general in, in the short and the longer term? 5G is absolutely crucial to the strategy of three, both in the UK and abroad. We have more spectrum than all of our competition combined. So our objective is to challenge fixed line operators in the UK market by encouraging them to ditch their landline and take a 5G home router. Um, that's our um, short term objective. Our longer term objective is to go from single play to dual play to tri play. And my role in the business is to enable, uh, identify and deliver the services which will enable us to own that space and d uh, create a really compelling content offering. Right, great. Now, from the, ex from the perspective of a, a streaming provider, what do you think is the key differentiator? Is it the content or the user experience? Well, they're obviously both crucial. Um, we see an opportunity in the market um, to deliver a product or an experience which sits above the fragmentation of the, the content world. What we have identified as a business is that our customers have multiple subscription services. Uh, they struggle to sometimes to find the content they actually want to consume. Um, that's because, as I say, the market is fragmenting and what were traditionally producers have now become distributors, if you look at Disney Plus, for example. So the traditional boundary of people who make content sitting over here, quite separate from the distributor sitting over here, has become a, a, blurred, a blurred line. Um, we think there's a major opportunity to deliver a customer experience which sits above that environment, uh, allowing customers to have easy access to everything and providing them with great methods for discovery, search and browse. And what do you think streaming providers need to do to, to optimize or improve that user experience? I think at this point, um, the uh, offerings in the market, Netflix, Amazon Prime, uh, they are not perhaps quite as good as they could be in the relevance of what they promote to the customer. They're hugely improved from where they were five years ago, but I still would argue that the personalization and the relevancy of what is promoted to the customer is not as good as it should be. So if you're talking about quality of service in terms of how intuitive is it and how good is the user experience, I think there's a long way to go there. Um, but, I, but I do recognize that the investment in content is providing enormous amounts of choice. My previous role was vice president at Deezer. We had 35 million tracks of content. So I've seen it firsthand, the challenge of having a vast library and having to find a way to surface that content. And there's two ways to do it. One is human curation, creating dedicated and unique playlists or specific um, selections of content for the customer based on perhaps topicality and uh, uh, other methods. And the other one is algorithmic. So the basis on which AI can help you to better understand what someone might, might want to, to watch or, or consume or listen to. So I think there's a long way to go in that, re in that regard. And um, all the services at this point are not fully delivering what I think um, the quality of service could be. Now, surfacing that content has been a key theme here at uh, Video Exchange Streaming. For you, what um, is the importance of this show? Why do you come and attend it? I think the reason why Video Exchange is a great event is because it brings together everybody from the entire ecosystem. So there's producers, there's distributors, there's telcos, there's um, partners that deliver um, uh, the interfaces and the, the um, customer experience, the insights, the analytics. So I think the reason why this is an interesting event for a lot of people in the industry is because it has all the different components of the, of the sector, but also it's very international. So I was just listening to a panel with people from two or three different markets. 
Um, what you learn is that, at least within Europe, actually a lot of the challenges are repeated and there's really quite a lot of um, the same issues. But it's great to hear how those vary in subtle ways from one market to another. So I think for both of those reasons, it makes it a, a, a great event. And what's been the highlight of the show so far for you? The highlight of the show so far was achieving profits through scale because I think um, that panel really identified the biggest challenge, which is how do you get the volumes of customers in order to make um, content services pay in an environment where actually the margins are quite thin and uh, they identify some very, very interesting insights. Great, good stuff. Christian, thanks very much. Thank you.